I'll be flying with Emirates from Sydney to Christchurch on the business class cabin. Check-in is divided into economy, business and first class. Premium passengers are entitled to use the express security lane. However, on the day of travel, the lane was under repair. The lounge is near gate 54. There's a dining area next to the buffet. Or you can choose to relax on the couches with television and flight information. On first impression, the lounge looks a little bit outdated. However, it still feel comfortable. Wi-Fi is also provided, but the speed is slow. By the time I reached the lounge, breakfast was being served. Items such as mushrooms, sausages and eggs are provided. Pastries are also available. I would say the variety of food is quite large. And here are some chilled options. I got myself some tasty mushrooms and sausage. By the time I reach the gate, there's a lot of passengers. Zone C and Zone F economy passengers were invited to wait at the Aero Bridge, but they have to wait until all the business and first class passengers to board the plane first. I then walked to my seat 23A, which is located at the very back of the cabin. It looks such a luxurious and decent product to me. On the right, there's a mini bar and some power outlets, and also a reading light. As you may already know, the window shades are made of paper blinds. The seat functions can be controlled by the mini tablet on your right. There's a lot of movie options for you to choose from. You will never get bored flying with Emirates on a long flight. There's also a tiny remote control. A glass of welcome drink was also served. Safety demonstration was also being played during pushback. We left the gate 20 minutes behind schedule. And we took off on runway 16R. Here's the menu. Breakfast was a choice among poached eggs with hollandaise, scrambled egg with truffle, and gingerbread and French toast. And I went for the second option, which is a scrambled egg with truffle. The menu is available in English and Arabic. The 
entertainment system is very easy to use, and control is also very smooth. It gives a lot of information about the movie, but I thought the thumbnail of the movie could be larger. The headphones provided by Emirates are also noise cancelling. The Zealand's custom information video was also played as a regulation of entry into New Zealand. And here's the flight meal. It's served with salmon, a piece of hot cake, muffin, and a plate of fruit. This is the bar area, located at the very back of the cabin. You can pretend to be a bartender, and the cabin crew will take a photo of you. And this is how far the sea can be climbed when it's not in a 180 life flat mode. The lavatory is beautifully decorated with flowers together with amenities available. Wood parfum are also provided. Soon, the same was commenced, and we flew over some snowy mountains over New Zealand. As we flew near Christchurch, we started to see some farmlands. and we made our final approach in the Christchurch Airport. such a bumpy landing. I apologize if the video is too shaky for you. Anyway, although we departed Sydney Airport 20 minutes behind schedule, we were still able to pick up some time and landed on time in Christchurch. I could also feel that the booking was quite hard, probably due to the length of the runway. This was such an enjoyable flight. I've never reclined that much on any other seats. This is the best flight ever that I've ever been on. Emirates didn't fail to impress me on its business product. Once again, if there's any Asian airlines or Australian carriers in any cabin that you want me to do a review on, just leave a comment below and I'll try my best to book on those flights and do a review on them. And I'll see you next time on the Flyer Channel. Say that him, say that him. I'm happy to be confirmed at Parkland Church. Do any head to talk to the Mahalli on the Shiru Lassa. The one is Zawalan. One, two.